might have got him. Yeah, I think they got him. The stolen pickup has already blown its left rear tire on a spike strip. His uh, left rear is flat, left rear is flat. He's going to get locked in here. Yeah, he's going to probably... The green truck drives across the grassy median. Suspect speeds the wrong way down the freeway. By the end of this chase, the felon leads a convoy of patrol cars more than 90 miles across Ohio. Somehow, he keeps that wrecked truck on the road. As he exits the freeway, his tire completely shreds. He forces his way through traffic hits that truck and barely keeps control of his vehicle. Okay, we're going southbound now, southbound, southbound. It's 10 in the morning, and he's headed toward a busy part of town at 70 miles an hour on three wheels. Officers want to pit the vehicle, but hold back. Instead, the officers decide to go another route. He accelerates past a second spike strip. As the suspect approaches Bowling Green, Ohio, the officers decide this chase has gone on long enough. When an officer attempts the pit maneuver, he nearly runs over a third spike strip. It's a violent collision. The Bowling Green police officer takes him out hard. In the final tally, the truck and the three patrol cars are wrecked. No one is injured. The suspect faces charges of felony fleeing and several counts of felonious assault on a police officer. The 90-mile chase goes down as one of Ohio's longest pursuits ever.